Hello students. Today's lesson is based on plants, trees and creepers. This lesson is specially for the students in grade 5. In this video, you will learn Sinhala translation of the words given for activity-based oral English. Also, you will learn structures and language expressions kinds of trees and to speak on the topic importance of trees so let's get started first of all let's get to know the vocabulary large plants vishala shaka small plants kuda pala climbers udata nagina palati Creepers, Bimaduana well. Bushes, Panduru. Flowers, Mal. The leaf, Kolaya. Leaves, Patra. Roots, Mul. Trunk, Kanda. Branch, Shakawa. Branches, Shaka. Bud, Pohotua. Buds, Pohotu. Stem, Naratia. Petals, Malpeti, fruits, palaturu, fruit trees, palaturu gas. Let's sing this song. Large plants, small plants, climbers, creepers, bushes, bushes, bushes. Trees, 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 green everywhere. Let's sing one more time. Large plants, small plants, climbers, creepers, bushes, 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 trees, 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 green everywhere. Now let's look at the structures and language expressions related to this lesson. Read with me this is these are that is those are there sir there are can you help me thank you very much let's go very good well done let's learn simple structures to build sentences this is in sentence we use this is to introduce when something or someone near to us we can feel we can touch or we can hold it that means very close to us Look at this picture. This is an apple. Look at the apple in the boy's hand. He is holding it. He can touch the apple. So we say this is an apple. I hope it's clear. We use this is in sentences to introduce something or someone is very close to us. Let's look at some more examples. This is a plant. This is a tree. This is a pen. This is a chair. Let's learn these are in sentences. We use these are in sentences for plural words. That means when some objects or people close by. Let's 
Look at this example. What do you see in this picture? There are many books. Many books, that means more than one. It's a lot. Books, it is a plural word. The girl is holding the books. She says, these are books. Hope you understand. When we have some objects or some people very close, we use these are in sentences to introduce them. Now let's look at more examples from these are. These are trees. These are chairs. These are plants. These are pens. using that is in sentences let's look at this picture do you see the boy he is showing his house his house is a bit far from him so he is pointing his hand towards his house he says that is my house we use that is to introduce when something or someone is far away from us. We use a pointed hand for these type of sentences to show the distance. Let's look at more examples. That is, that's a house. That's a car. That's a big tree. That's a parrot. Using those are in sentences. Look at this picture. There are a lot of trees but in distance. Therefore, we use the pointed hand to show the trees and say those are trees. We use those are for plural words. Let's read more sentences from those are. Those are flowers. Those are leaves. Those are fruits. Those are buildings. There's a we use there's a to say something or someone in position. Look at this picture. Do you see the boy standing near the tree? So we say there's a boy near the tree. Or else you can say there's a tree next to the boy. Now let's read more examples. There's a picture on the wall. There's a ball under the table. There's a beautiful flower in the vase. There's a red bird flying in the sky.
there are. We use there are for plural words. Do you see the boys in the playground? Boys, a plural word. That means more than one. So we say there are boys in the playground. Let's read more sentences. There are toys in the box. There are leaves on the table. There are pictures on the wall. There are children in the playground. Now let's listen to this conversation. Kevin, can you help me to find my bag? Your bag? I think I saw it under the big tree. Is it blue in color? Yes, it is. Let's go and find it. Look, there it is. Now I can complete my homework. That's good. Can I help you? I've got A plus for my essay today. Well done. I need to write an essay on importance of trees. Oh, that's easy. Thank you very much for helping me. It's my pleasure. See you tomorrow. See you too. Now let's learn to speak on the topic importance of trees. Trees are essential for our environment. They are the best friend of humanity. We get fruits, medicines, wood, paper, grains and many more other things from trees. Trees purify air and cleans our environment by giving oxygen. Trees absorb harmful carbon dioxide present in the environment. Trees provide us shade and protection. Plants are classified into different types such as large trees like mango tree, banyan tree. Small trees like shrubs, rose, hibiscus, herbs like coriander, mint, climbers like money plant, grape wine, creepers like pumpkin and cucumber. Many creatures make their habitat on trees. Bees collect pollen from blossoms and build hives in trees. Ants and other insects eat and build homes in the trees. Trees stop soil erosion. We should plant more and more trees for making our environment healthy and beautiful. Now let's do a game. Guess what am I? I am white. I have five petals. What am I? You are a jasmine. I am yellow. I have many petals. What am I? You are a sunflower. Now find the singular translation for the words given below. Stem Roots Petals Large plants Branch 
find the English translation for the words given below. Panduru, Palaturu, Patraya. Check your answers. So children, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. Good luck. See you soon.